Hi everyone, welcome back to Arting with Mrs. Gill and I'm Mrs. Gill. Hey, we're working on this sketchbook from last time and that's what we're gonna keep working on. I started it in the fall and um, that's what we're gonna be working on is filling up these pages. And um, today I'm going to finish uh, filling up these colors and I'm using an example from a sketchbook that I have already done or worked on. So we're going to finish these these shapes, and then we are going to um, move on to another page. Okay, so we're going to color this. I like this. This is called Apricot, I believe. PC5M Posca marker. I love Posca markers, but um, they can be pricey, so you don't have to use them uh, during uh, my videos. Many of them. I have uh, tested and used other acrylic pens, so you can go back and judge for yourself what you like looking at my other videos if you'd like on my YouTube channel. Um, but anywho, I just wanted to, um, show you what you can do with a sketchbook. I've, I've had many of them, um, and I wanted to show you my ideas. There's a million and one ideas of things you can do for a sketchbook, so anybody can do it. I'm just sharing mine. And I hope you like it, because mainly I want you to just relax and watch me. Relax and watch me. Did I use this one already? Let's see. White. Yeah, I did. Yeah, soft yellow. Okay, this is a... Oh, it says apricot, isn't it? Yellow. This is a... Um, yellow. Again, you don't have to use Posca markers. I just like them. They're not messy um, and they're easy to use. Anybody can use them. They come in all, all different sizes too and price ranges. So um, again, they're, they're fairly pricey, but they do last a long time, and the colors are so vivid and nice, as you can see from here, that I really like them. But I will use other colors as well. This is uh, a nice yellow, a warm yellow, don't you think? I do. These colors make me happy. Do they make you happy? They sure make me happy. And uh, these days, cheap happiness, that's a winner. That's a winner in my book. So, so I said we'd finish these two squares. We did. I'm not going to wipe them because it's wet. And if you wipe the pages with the pill in, Pilling of the paper, the paper does that, makes those little marks, then it will run onto your thing. So we're going to turn the page and we're going to work on another something. Okay, we're going to do something else. So let's see, I'm kind of looking through my things that I have and kind of wanted to show you some things that I've done that are kind of fun. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of copy this and it doesn't have to be exact. I still want to add more things. These are some Posca glitter and uh, metallic markers and I'll probably bring those out. Um, but that's a fun little tree. Anybody can do it. So let's do it over here on this sketchbook. I'm using a uh, 5MPC Posca marker. 
for the tree shape. And we're just gonna do the same thing, okay? I hope you're doing good today. I'm having a great day. I'm getting a lot done and that is what I wanted. Okay, we have circles on this side, but we don't have to have that, you know? There's that. We can uh, make different shapes and fill them in. How about that? Would you guys like to do that? I think that sounds real good. So that's what we'll do. I'm, I'm making the truck here. Again, these are things anybody can do, and you don't have to have Posca markers or a sketchbook. You can use a notebook. You can do whatever. Okay, that's kind of my outline. Um, I think I want to use a finer Posca black. And so I'm gonna go with a three PC3M because I'm gonna make shapes, but not exactly like that, okay? I'm gonna kinda of go like this and kinda of fill in spaces with other spaces that are not exactly circles. See how you can do that? This is another way to, f to uh, fill up a sketchbook is by doing different shapes and filling up places with them. You can do it with circles, you know, any shape really. You can go little shapes, bigger, you know, stuff like that. How's everybody doing? I'm doing pretty darn good. I enjoy doing this and talking to you. I, uh, I'm retired, so I have probably a little more time than a lot of people. But I keep pretty busy. I enjoy doing the artwork because it really relaxes me. And helps me to breathe deeply. And kind of stretch my back and my shoulders. And just kind of slow down and be in the present. That's what I like. Because being in the past is no good. And being in the future is fruitless. So might as well just be here in the present. You know, and give yourself a present by being present. That's what I'm trying to do more and more. I hope you are too. Stomach's growling. There you go. So this tree, as you can see, is a little different than the other because I wanted it to be different. Now you can make yours exactly the same as mine or not. You can fill it with any kind of shapes you want. And they can be different colors of green or not in the background. Doesn't have to be what I have. See, see how that worked out? I thought that turned out nicely, did you? So now, let's see, I've got to decide what I want to do. I think I want to make this background, make it a little different. We can pretend that's a starry night or something. Anyway, this will be the background of this one. I'll make the other one different. Okay. 
and you can populate that however you want to. If you want to do bigger, you can. You can do anything you want, really. So. I'm just doing it like this. And then now I'm going to use my lighter brown. I like this brown. It's a real warm brown. I really need my finer marker though, don't I? How you doing out there? You still with me? Good. I'm having a good time. I hope you are. As I've said, I've facilitated many groups in my past work. I'm retired now. Uh, so, we used art as a therapy. And I do think of art as a therapy to this day. I enjoy doing it. I hope you do too. It's really relaxing. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do on this trunk is I'm gonna alternate light this lighter brown with a darker to make it different than the other one. Because I can do that, you know? And it's not too hard. We had a cool weekend, and then now it's back to being hot again. So I'm fortunate that I can stay in here and be with you and do some art in my cozy little corner of the world where it's calm and cool and stress-free. Pretty much. I'm trying to stay in the line so I don't go back, have to outline if I can help it. But if I do get out, I, I do. So then I go back and use my black outline to make things neater. When I do my art, I try and Take deep breaths and relax. Relax my muscles, my neck. Stretch my neck, it's creaking and cracking. Roll my shoulders, that helps too. And just kind of slow down. I had a hectic life before the retirement, believe me. And it's nice to sit and uh, relax and be calm and at peace, peaceful. That's why I search peace so I can heal up this rackety brain of mine and help this body relax. Okay, so look, I made that a little different, didn't I? Mm -hmm. So now I think I'm going to take that darker brown, which I have, and I'm going to uh, put that in the stripes, the other stripes, like this. You still with me? Good. All right. Um, I'm going to do one of these to show you. I did it. It makes it different than the other side. Yeah, there. That's neat and different, isn't it? Good deal. Well, thank you again for watching Arting with Mrs. Gill. I'm so glad you did. I enjoyed today. I hope you did too. Come back. Bye-bye.